forms of tourism have even led to culturally and dharma tiger hai na black tiger cement Welcome to Hornbill TV. This is Yankar Kekrezan Yosolo. You're now watching Prime Time. First, the headlines. In a setback for Delhi Chief Minister and AAP Chief Convener Arvind Kejriwal, the Delhi High Court on Tuesday dismissed his plea challenging his arrest by the Enforcement Directorate in the excise policy laundering case. The Mahavikas Aghari in Maharashtra has finally announced his seat-sharing formula for 2024 Lok Sabha polls after months of discussions. The Rose Avenue Court on Tuesday extended the judicial custody of the Bharat Rashtra Samiti MLC K Kavita till April 23rd in the relation to the excise policy money laundering case. India termed the UN Security Council resolution that demanded immediate ceasefire in Gaza for the month of Ramadan a positive step. Those were the top headlines and now for the news in details. In a setback for Delhi Chief Minister AAP, Chief Convener Arvind Kejriwal, the Delhi High Court on Tuesday dismissed his plea, challenging his arrest by the Enforcement Directorate in the excise poli uh, policy laundering, laundering case. The High Court said ED was in possession of enough material which had led them to arrest Kejriwal. Non-joining of investigation by Kejriwal, delay caused by him, was also impacting those in judicial custody. Court had also said Kejriwal's challenge to timing of arrest before general elections in absence of any mala fight, any mala fight on part of the ED was non-sustainable. Meanwhile, the Aam Aadmi Party said it does not agree with the decision of the Delhi High Court. Kejriwal will go to the Supreme Court against HC's decision tomorrow itself, says a party source. <laughs> कोर्ट है कोर्ट के इंस्टीट्यूशन है इंस्टीट्यूशन का हम सम्मान करते हैं और हम सम्मान पूर्वक ये कहना चाहते हैं कि हम इस फैसले से सहमत नहीं है और इस फैसले के खिलाफ हम सुप्रीम कोर्ट जाएंगे और सुप्रीम कोर्ट के अंदर अपनी बात रखेंगे Assam Downtown University witnessed a resounding success with the launch of its groundbreaking industry academic program in B.Tech Computer Science and Engineering Business Systems in collaboration with Tata Consultancy Services. This program, the first of its kind in the Northeast region, promises to revolutionize education for asp aspiring tech professionals, Dr. K.M. Sachindran, Techno HR leader, digital ev evangelist, lifelong learner, and head of academic alliances at TCS said they have entered into a memorandum of understanding with Assam Downtown University, marking a significant milestone in their commitment to academic excellence. He said the MOU establishes a partnership to offer the prestigious BTEC in Computer Science Engineering and Business Systems, CSEBS, the flagship program designed to provide students with a comprehension, understanding of computer science alongside humanities, management, sciences and human values. Dr. K. M. Sachindran said this collaboration represents their first endeavor in the Northeast region reflecting the dedication to expanding educational opportunities and fostering all-round growth. Meanwhile, Dr. Utpal Barman, Dean Faculty of the Computer Technology, said the innovative program brings together the academic excellence of Assam Downtown University and the industry expertise of the TCS to offer students a cutting-edge curriculum. The course curriculum and structure of the program are designed by the TCS experts in connection with other academic experts. This program ensures that the students will be equipped with the skills and knowledge needed to thrive in the rapidly evolving tech industry.
The Maha Vikas Aghadi in Maharashtra has finally launched their seat sharing formula for 2024 Lok Sabha polls. After months of discussions, the alliance held a press conference on Tuesday and announced that Udhav Thakre, led Chief Sena, Ud Udhav Thakre will contest 21 seats, the Sharad Power headed Nationalist Congress Party in the 10 seats, and the Congress will contest in 17 seats. The joint press conference was addressed by Sharad Pawar, Udav Thakre, and the Congress leadership, including State Congress President Nana Patoli. Congress Legislature Party leader Bala Saheb, Thorat, and former Chief Minister Pridviraj Chavan. The MVA INDIA bloc is taking on the BJP led Maha Yuti, which comprises Eknath Shinde, headed Chief Sena, and Ajit Pawar, spearheaded NCP. <laughs> The <laughs> हे नवीन वर्ष अत्यंत सुखाचं समृद्धीचं आनंदाचं आणि हुकूमशाही नष्ट होण्याचं जाओ या शुभेच्छा देतो साहजिकचाही युती किंवा आघाडी म्हटल्यानंतर जागा वाटपाबद्दल शक्य असेल तिथपर्यंत आम्ही चर्चा करत असतो आणि तो प्रत्येकाचा अधिकार असतो मात्र एक क्षण असा येतो की त्यावेळेला एकमेकाला समजून घेऊन जागा वाटप जाहीर करू India termed a UN Security Council resolution that demanded immediate ceasefire in Gaza for the month of Ramadan a positive step, asserting that the humanitarian crisis resulting from the ongoing Israel to Hamas conflict is simply unacceptable. India's permanent representative to the UN, Ambassador Ruchira Kamboj, told a UN General Assembly meeting on April 8 that India is deeply troubled by the ongoing conflict in Gaza. The humanitarian crisis has deepened and instability has been increasing in the region and beyond. We are deeply troubled by the ongoing conflict in Gaza. The humanitarian crisis has deepened and instability has been increasing in the region and beyond. In this context, we view the United Nations Security Council's adoption of Resolution 2728 on 25th March as a positive step. The resolution we all recall had called for an immediate ceasefire for the month of Ramadan to be respected by all parties, leading to a lasting sustainable ceasefire and the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages. As far as my country is concerned, India's position on the conflict has been clearly articulated on more than one occasion by our leadership. There are four key points here. One, the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas has led to a large-scale loss of civilian lives, especially women and children. The resulting humanitarian crisis is simply unacceptable. We have strongly condemned the deaths of civilians in the conflict. It is imperative to avoid the loss of civilian lives in any conflict situation. International law and international humanitarian law must be respected by everyone under all circumstances. Two, the terror attacks on Israel on 7 October were shocking and they deserve our unequivocal condemnation. There can be no justification for terrorism and hostage taking. India has a long standing and uncompromising position against terrorism in all its forms and manifestations, and we demand the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages. Three, the humanitarian situation in Gaza is dire. It is imperative that humanitarian aid to the people of Gaza be scaled up immediately in order to avert a further deterioration in the situation. We urge all parties to come together in this endeavor. We welcome the efforts of the United Nations and the international community in this regard. India has provided humanitarian aid to the people of Palestine, and we will continue to do so. Four, my leadership has repeatedly emphasized that only a two-state solution, 
achieved through direct and meaningful negotiations between both sides on final status issues will deliver an enduring peace. We are committed to supporting a two-state solution where the Palestinian people are able to live freely in an independent country within secure borders with due regard to the security needs of Israel. Mr. President, to arrive at a lasting solution, we urge all parties to foster conditions conducive to resuming direct peace negotiations at an early date. Thank you. The Ruse Avenue Court on Tuesday extended the judicial custody of the Bharat Rashtra Samiti, MLCK, Kavita till April 23rd in relation to the excise policy money laundering case. The special judge, Kaveri Baweja, allowed the plea of the Enforcement Directorate, stating that she's made attempts to influence the witnesses and tampered with evidence and hence her judicial custody should be extended by 14 days. Advocate Nitesh Rana appeared for the K. Kavitha and ex opposed the ED plea, stating that there is nothing new since she, has, she was arrested. There are no new grounds. The application doesn't mention anything. Meanwhile, the court has refused to permit K. Kavitha to address personally or orally and said she could give her submissions in written form. Advocate Zohar Hossein, along with Navin Kumar Mata and Simon Benjamin, appeared for the Enforcement Directorate in the case, while advocates Nitesh Rana, Deepak Rana and Mohit Rao appeared for the accused K. Kavita. What personally, and then uh, court has said file an application and accordingly she will be, uh, that application will be decided. No, 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 that's not, not, not in my knowledge. application three four days but the uh, uh, CBI ka, uh, proceedings tha. तो उसमें जेसी में उनकी इंट्रोगेशन उन्होंने कर ली है लेकिन हमने उस उस एप्लीकेशन के खिलाफ अपना टुडे टुडे सुश्री के कविता वाज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द कोर्ट फ्रॉम द जुडिशियल कस्टडी एंड द राइट ऑफ स्पीकिंग इन द कोर्ट वाज नॉट डिनाइड बट देन कोर्ट हैज डायरेक्टेड अस टू फाइल एन एप्लीकेशन फॉर दैट वो देखेंगे सर द कोर्ट वाज कांस्टेंटली सेइंग दैट यू नो यू शुड पुट द आर्ग्युमेंट्स इन द रिटर्न फॉर्मेट सी द कोर्ट हर कोर्ट के अपने तौर तरीके होते हैं उन्होंने अपने हिसाब से एप्लीकेशन मांगा है और हम एप्लीकेशन फाइल कर लेंगे थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक विल बी बैक विद मोर न्यूज जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट से नहीं बना तो पड़ेगा रोना पानी घुसने से कंक्रीट कमजोर हो जाए स्टार वेदर शीट सीमेंट खराब मौसम में घर वेदर प्रूफ बनाए स्टार वेदर शीट जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट वेदर प्रूफ घर डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट से नहीं बना तो पड़ेगा रोना पानी घुसने से कंक्रीट कमजोर हो जाए डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट ज्वाइन बी एस सी नर्सिंग एन जी एन एम एट सेंट मार्था इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ नर्सिंग गुवाहाटी अंडर एस एम ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट Join BSc Nursing NGNM at Saint Martha Institute of Nursing Guwahati under SN Group of Institutions. Dar mat tiger hai na black tiger cement. Join BSc Nursing NGNM at Saint Martha Institute of Nursing Guwahati under SN Group of Institutions. Dar mat tiger hai na black tiger cement. 
Join BSc Nursing NGNM at St. Martha Institute of Nursing, Guwahati under SN Group of Institutions. Introducing the Nagaland Disaster Management School Safety Policy Compliance Course, a compulsory digital training platform for educators and all stakeholders in Nagaland. The comprehensive digital course comprises of eight modules that encompasses essential skills in disaster management. Explore content curated with engaging visuals, informative videos, interactive quizzes, and practical insights. Upon completion, receive official certification issued by the Department of School Education and the NSDMA, validating your commitment to ensuring safer educational spaces. Register now for the School Safety Policy Compliance Course by going on the Department of School Education website and clicking on Register. This is a mandatory course for all teachers, educators, and stakeholders in both government as well as private schools. Join us in creating a safer future for Nagaland's educational landscape. Welcome back, heading on to the next news. The Enforcement Directorate conducted raids at various sites in Tamil Nadu on Tuesday. As part of an investigation into drug-related money laundering involving former DMK member Jafar Sadiq and others, according to sources, the ED raided more than 20 locations in Chennai and other places including Trichy and Madurai. The central, the central probe agency searched the premises of the partners of the sect DMK functionary Jafar Sadiq, who is presently in judicial custody. Earlier this March, the Narcotics Control Bureau busted a big transnational drug racket, following which it issued a statement saying Sadiqi is the kingpin of a network spread over India, New Zealand, Australia and Malaysia. The accused allegedly earned a huge amount of money through drug trafficking and invested it in multiple industries like film, construction, hospitality, etc. He was arrested in connection with the seizure of 50 kg of pseudo-dauphinic in Delhi. Weeks before India heads into a two-month-long election with nearly a billion voters, political party merchandise and flag makers are expanding operations and working overtime to meet a surge in demand. Ahead of the first voting day of the seven-phase election on April 19th, garment makers are temporarily con converting factories where they usually make saris into production hubs for election flags and banners. One such factory owner, Mukesh Agarwal, said there are as many as 40 similar factories in Mathura, a temple town in Uttar Pradesh, India's largest state and key political battleground. The cheapest and best items used for political campaigns and are banners and flags. Election merchandise is a low-margin, high-volume business where the price of a party batch can start from one rupee. Agarwal said some factories can produce a million flags a day if demand continues to increase. And during an election, India is plastered with posters from hundreds of political parties and thousands of candidates. अब जैसे-जैसे इलेक्शन नजदीक आता जा रहा है, उस दौरान अब जो चुनाव प्रचार सामग्री जो बिकने का सेल रहता है, इसकी अभी सरगर्मी बहुत ज़्यादा तेज होती चली जा रही है। अभी क्या है कि जैसे-जैसे जोन से स्टेट में, जोन से चरण का इलेक्शन नजदीक आता जाएगा, उस जगह पे जो है सरगर्मी और ज़्यादा तो आदमी इसको लेकर उसका चुनाव चिन्ह वगैरह उसको घर पे टांगते हैं दिखाते हैं उसी से वो लोग जो है इसको जो है अपना प्रचार माध्यम Chief of Jammu and Kashmir People's Democratic Party, Mehbuba Mufti, said on Tuesday that the Bhatia Janta Party used the Kashmiri Pandits as a weapon, used their pain and suffering and told it to the country to get votes. She said despite that, BJP did not do anything for them. देखिए सबसे पहली बात तो ये है कि ये जो रोशनलाल जी थे 
ये मेरे वालिद मुफ्ती साहब के बहुत ही नजदीकी दोस्त थे करीबी दोस्त थे और भाईचारे से रहना यहाँ के जब इनकी डेथ होगी तो यहाँ के जो लोग कितना कितना रश रहा कितने लोग इनके घर आए गए तो मुझे लगता है भाईचारे की ये सबसे बड़ी मिसाल है और इसके साथ ही जो हमारे कश्मीरी पंडित भाई बहन है जो बहुत मुश्किल हालात में जहाँ जम्मू में है या कहीं रह रहे हैं तो मुझे लगता है उनके सरकार हो या महबूबा मुफ्ती हो या कोई और हो या बीजेपी की सरकार हो मुझे लगता है उनको यहाँ आके सेटल होने में किसी की मदद की जरूरत नहीं है हम कश्मीरी लोग जो हैं जो आम कश्मीरी है वो चाहते हैं हमारे कश्मीरी पंडित वापस आए और जिस तरह हम रहते थे बहुत खूबसूरत जगह होती थी मतलब जब मिलजुल के आप रहते हैं कश्मीरी भी है पंडित भी है सरदार भी है बुद्धिस्ट भी है क्रिश्चियन भी है मुसलमान भी है तो उसकी एक अपनी शक्ल होती है तो उनका मैं समझती हूँ रोशन लाल जी का यहाँ इन हालात में रहना तो ये एक सबक है जो आज मुल्क में हो रहा है जिस तरह हमारे कौम के लोगों को लिंच किया जाता है उनको मार दिया जाता है उनकी पिटाई की जाती है उनको हमारी मस्जिदों को तोड़ा जाता है हमारे मदरसों को तोड़ा जाता है हमारे मुसलमान जो उनके घरों को तोड़ा जाता है उनके जो जो बेचारे रेडी पे काम करते हैं उनकी वो सारा सामान फेंका जाता है तो मैं समझती हूँ कि मुल्क के जो हमारे लोग हैं जो हमारे हिंदू भाई बहन हैं जो ज़्यादातर सेक्युलर हैं वो ये तोड़ नहीं करना चाहते हैं तो मैं कहती हूँ उनके लिए ये सबक है कि रोशन लाल जी इतने मुश्किल हालात में यहाँ रहे और मुसलमान और कश्मीरी पंडित आपस में जिस तरह मिलजुल के रहते थे उसी तरह आज भी मिलजुल के रहने के लिए तैयार है नहीं मैं तो रिहेबिलिटेशन की मैं तो जनरल यहाँ आई हूँ मैं तो आप लोगों से बात भी नहीं करना चाहती थी आपने पूछा नहीं वो तो बीजेपी ने इनको खाली वोट बैंक की तरह इस्तेमाल नहीं किया बल्कि एक हथियार कश्मीरी पंडितों के दर्द को उनकी तकलीफ को इन्होंने एक हथियार बनाया और पूरे मुल्क में उस हथियार को बेचा उस हथियार को पूरे मुल्क में इस्तेमाल किया दूसरों के वोट लेने के लिए हमारे कश्मीरी पंडित भाई उनके वोट तो बहुत ज्यादा नहीं है मगर उनके दर्द को उनकी तकलीफ को बीजेपी ने घर घर जगह जगह जाके हथियार की तरह इस्तेमाल किया मगर और उन...